So we've seen how machines are a basic building block on fly. We can use a Docker image or an OCI compatible image and run whatever we want inside of a real virtual machine in any region around the world. What we're gonna do here is something a little more real. We're gonna see how to use fly machines to run user code. Now, the programming language we use doesn't actually matter too much because we are not packaging up Node.js in any special way. We're not using Wasm, you know, WebAssembly or anything like that. You can accept user code in any language that makes sense for you. We're gonna use Node.js just because it's convenient in a popular language. Here, I just have a super small example of what it might look like. In reality, you're gonna have to draw the rest of the owl a bit here. This just assumes there's a directory named package. In that package directory is a file named index.mjs. And we're gonna assume this is returning a function, a closure, whatever, that we can call and get the output from. All right, and that's really all there is to it. I'm just gonna basically just blindly accept whatever the user code is in our case and run it. So the next few videos, we will see how to set up a Docker image that will create a virtual machine that can be set up to run packaged user code. And we'll see how to programmatically run that so that this can all be automated.